Camp counselors of Reddit, what is the most NSFW thing you've seen happen at camp? Day 1 at camp. We jumped out of the bus and ran around because we were so excited. My friend ran behind the bus and the bus ran him over. He was rushed off by ambulance. We didn't see him for another 3 months. Edit spelling. I sound like a 12 year in those few sentences. I'm 42. I was a counselor at a day camp. We took kids to the zoo. A kid shoved his thumb fully inside a petting zoo goat's butt. I asked him why and he just shrugged looking at me like I'm the idiot. I felt bad for the goat but it was still standing next to him. So maybe it was into it. I had two twin brothers that were very handsy with each other. One day one of them came to me crying because his brother had bit his tongue after he tried kissing him. Andy and Ollie. This summer I walked in on 515-16 year olds touching ball sacks together while comparing testicle size. That was a fun incident report to fill out. Edit. For the record. The incident report does get them in trouble. Hopefully they said no homo otherwise it would be pretty gay. I was working at a young life camp in Colorado probably 12 years ago. I think it was the first day right around dinner time and a girl just up and died. Her heart just stopped. She was sitting talking with her friends and fell over. It was incredibly intense and very sad for a lot of people and tons of people were there to witness it. It's not the most scandalous of camp stories. But it was certainly pretty aired up and put a weird vibe on the rest of the week. I was a camp counselor years ago and while I don't recall really seeing anything NSFW with the kids. I can tell you almost everything I saw with the counselors was NSFW. I couldn't walk into a room without seeing people lying. Intense. On top of the staff washing machines. In the general store. Parents. If you send your kids to camp. Just remember. Literally the only thing those counselors are thinking about is eyeing each other. I worked at a sleepaway girl scout camp with all female counselors and staff where a solid 60% were lesbian. There was a strictly enforced no more eyeing in the bushes rule. Because so many counselors would go at it anywhere they could find. What are they supposed to do? Out in the open? Counselors having a threesome in an empty cabin next to the bathrooms. Till camp counselors are horny as. Edit. Yeah you'll need to chill the out. 1. I am not from America. Camps where I am from don't work that way. 2. It's been a long ass time since I've seen Friday 13th. Like a Luung mother ang time. 3. I ang wish I had been a camp counselor in America. Had 6 year old campers at a day camp. After swimming. Found two of them facing each other naked in the locker room. They were standing there. Hitting each other's erect penises and making the boing boing sounds. This actually happened earlier today. I work at a summer day camp at a local park with kids in kindergarten age group. Interesting gross things happen almost every day with kids at that age. But today's events took the cake. Basically the 6 year old boy found a dead bird in the grass and decided it would be fun to pick it up and smear the blood and guts all over his hands and arms. After doing that, he started chasing around other campers to try to share his bird entrails on them. I had the pleasure of catching the gore covered kid, ripping the bird's ravaged carcass out of his hands, and spending half an hour in the bathroom getting him and myself cleaned up. When I asked him why the heck he picked up a dead animal he said that he thought it was something awesome to do. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. Just goes to show that comments about 6 year old savaging animals are totally the way to go. Metal as. I worked as a counselor at a camp for adults with disabilities. All my campers were in their 20s late 30s. One night one of my campers was emsturbating loudly and furiously. Because we all slept in one giant room. Her noises were waking everyone up. It was so distracting that I had to give her the emsturbation chat the next day and also explain it to all my campers privately. Boy what a fun day that was. Camper who spoke no English got a nasty head wound from a nail on the cabin rafters that he facetied into. Also so much counselor sx. 
myself and the other counselors in training stayed over in the food meeting hall place one night with one of the counselors. Truth or dare started happening. Someone truthed this French exchange student chick what's the farthest you've ever gone with someone? In broken English. She said something along the lines of one time my cousin and I were together and he put his balls on me motion to her crotch and we went like this humping motion. Silence. Lots of worried looks exchanged. After reading about all the camp counselors having sex with each other. I've decided I'm gonna be a camp counselor. Walking in on two 15 year old girls having the worst smelling lesbian sx. It stunk up the whole dorm all night. We had to open all the windows. Everyone knew. Saw a girl give a guy a hand job under a towel. On the bus. On the bus filled with children. On the bus filled with children going to a Christian camp. He is risen. Praise the lord. I was a camp counselor a few years ago at a camp for foster kids. One week a counselor caught a camper, M15, in bed with another camper, F14. The room they were in was tiny. And the four other girls in the bunks were awake and cheering them on. They were loud enough to wake the counselor. Who pulled the male camper out of bed? The guy had a ziplock bag around his dick. Held in place by a rubber band. I was both impressed at their dedication to trying to have safe sx. And appalled at how terribly they went about it. Round here we call sx with a sandwich bag packing a lunch. Mac Jivered that PSSY. Finally something I can actually weigh in on. I work at a day camp for kids ages 4-13. I was with a group of about 10 kids. All 8 or 9 years old. One day before pool time one kid walked into the bathroom. Got buckass naked. Then started crying because he had lost his bathing suit. I went in trying to defuse the situation and he bolted. He ran around at top speed screaming and crying. Flailing his arms all over the place. Do you know how illegal it looks for a 16 year old boy to chase a nude 8 year old? Well I eventually caught the kid and brought him back to the bathroom. When I asked him what his bathing suit looked like. He pulled a bathing suit out and said it looks like this. HHH. Mother er had his bathing suit 6 feet from him the entire time. NSFW in that I should have never been told at work. I'm a camp director and we had a kiddo who was at camp for the first time. Roughly 10 years old. Mum gave us a heads up that dad's health was failing and she wanted her son to have a break and recoup. But we also might have some behavioral issues. Great. No problem. We'll take great care of him. She calls Wednesday to tell me dad died the night before. I extend my condolences and state that I'll quietly get her son packed. But not say anything to him. She says. No. I'm going to leave him there for now. I want him to have two more days of joy before I break his little heart. It was the longest two days of my life. Knowing this kid's world was going to shatter Friday afternoon. I had to tell a few other staff so that we could be absolutely sure he had the best two days. It just sucked so bad for the adults. Obviously sucked worse for the child. But you know what I mean. We heard rumors about the cabin next to us one week at camp. It was a game called monkey and it involved one of the kids getting naked and putting a sock over his dick. He'd then swing around the room using the bed frames and whatnot, making monkey noises. To this day I'm not sure what the game was. I'm guessing you won if you didn't get our head. Dear mom and dad. Camp is so fun was checking rooms after everyone was supposed to have moved out. Found a 12 year old dying another 12 year old male and coming just as I opened the door. They didn't hear me so I waited a few minutes then knocked on the door and opened it to find two innocent kids packing their bags. They apologized for being slow to get out of their room. I worked at an 8 week sleep away camp in the northeast and was working in a bunk of 7 and 8 year olds. As the summer went along we lost a few counselors due to the fact our campers were the devil's spawn and only 6 or 7 years old. So us remaining counselors were spread thin. And one day in the span of 10 minutes when we didn't have a counselor in the bunk. I'm walking back and all the kids are running out of the bunk screaming about how one of the campers, M6, 
put his dick in another kid's mouth. M7. This is an all boys camp too. And when the camper was later asked why he let the other kid put the his dick in his mouth the kid's response was because they dared me to after long lashings from the director and owners and what I assume was some long talks with the kid's parents it was all swept under the rug and forgotten. TL. DR. It. Never sending my kids to camp. And I should have been a camp counselor when I was in high school. My favorite Tom was a 13 year old boy at camp out. Both his hands were in his sleeping bag and he was clearly masturbating. His counselor called a hand check where you have to display both hands in the air. He only raised on hand. The counselor asked for both hands and he replied give me 4 minutes. Comma his counselor called a hand check where you have to display both hands in the air. Is this a thing that happens at camp? The counselors just make sure nobody's masturbating. That kid is going places. I used to work at a Cub Scout summer camp and one summer we had a staff member named Mark. Mark was your general super douche boy scout, not saying all scouts are douches but there are certainly some gigantic ones, and completely overconfident in himself. So one day Mark was telling all of us, the staff, about how his dick is 10 inches soft and not even jokingly he was being very serious. So clearly we all knew he was bolting so that night a few of the other staff spray painted a giant dick on the side of his tent along with the quote 10 inches soft. The best part was the paint didn't show up unless it was dark and then it glowed. So whenever you walked up to the tent site at night you could see a giant glowing dick with 10 inches soft quoted underneath. The best part was none of the management knew until the next summer when we were setting up tents for the summer. And when the ranger saw it he got so angry and offended and started talking about how all kids nowadays are satan. I work in a building that hosts a camp for people with autism and other mental handicaps. A guy with something was really attached to his counselor. A girl. He really liked her and asked her out almost every hour of the week. She finally said no I have a boyfriend or something along those lines. He got really mad and stripped down. And freaked out. He peed and pooped all over the floor. When other counselors were trying to calm him down he ran over to a fire extinguisher box and smashed his head into the glass. He had big chunks of glass in his face and forehead. Bleeding everywhere. We were told as building managers to stay clear of the floor he was on. They would clean it all up. It was odd. Another story. When he left the building we also found a sort of poop shrine. He would poop in the closet and then mold underwear to it. He must have used a whole can of Fabrice on the thing a day because we never knew about it. Couldn't smell anything. Comma handicaps. They do indeed come in handy. I was a counselor for a teen group. 13-16 year old boys and girls. We took the group of about 25 on a camping trip to Oklahoma. Since most of the kids came from pretty well to do families and the Imca where we worked had plenty of money we were staying in pretty swanky cabins. One large living room downstairs and two large. Loft style rooms upstairs. Of course we separated the girls on one side. Boys to the other and counselors in between. One of the female counselors noticed some dust on the floor of the shower one night and looked up to see a hole in the ceiling. The boys had taken the coat hooks out of the wall and used that to drill holes down into the shower so they could watch the girls. They had even gone so far as to work out shifts and an elaborate signal system when counselors were nearby. They were able to keep it up for two nights before anyone noticed. Edit. We had to notify all of the parents. Very awkward conversations hey Suwalu about 20 teenage boys may have seen your daughter naked. Finally a chance to post this. One year I was working a regular camp and had a lead counselor run over to another counselor and I to say look in the first stall of the boys bathroom. We left our kids with our age group's female counselors and ran. By the time we made it a crowd of counselors had formed around the toilet. Contained inside was by far the mightiest, largest turd I have ever seen in my life. Easily a diameter of 3 inches and long enough to be far down into the toilet while also free willying out of the surface of the water. No campers were told about this. A few days later a camper asked me if we were running to the bathroom the other day because of a giant piece of poop and claimed to be the conjurer of it. I was mortified. 
I was a sit at a boy scout camp and one day another guy and I go look in the staff showers and see someone has taken a mighty. It must have been at least 3-4 because this pile is massive. About a foot in diameter. And while we were showering nearby. We kept hearing other counselors come by. Look at the and start screaming. There was this Asian kid named Kevin who went to the bathroom to take a but there was pee on the toilet seat so he started to cry and then took on the floor because he really had to go. Till Kevin was Asian. This is probably not going to be noticed now. But a kid pretended to be possessed by Hitler and then attacked me because I'm Jewish. Also while he was possessed by Hitler he yelled. WHO killed me. To which somebody in the crowded cabin responded. You killed yourself Dustin. I was working as a counselor at an overnight camp and I saw two boys, about 10 years old, fighting and then walk inside a cabin to settle their argument. I followed them in just in time to see them start fighting. It ended with the one kid pulling off three stroke four of the other kid's earlobe. Which I had to scoop up and put in a plastic bag with some ice before driving him to the hospital. They were fighting about who was a better musician. Eminem or Bob Molly. Ex-counselor here. Our camp has a thing where one night all the people who had been there for three years go out and do crazy in the fields by the camp. Needless to say I saw a lot of breasts. But other than that and smoking weed nothing really big happened. Apparently in years before some of the abandoned cabins were used during that night for our DSX parties with lots of alcohol involved. This was back in like the 1990s where I guess the upper staff were a lot more lenient. I worked at the camp in 2010 so I guess I missed the really interesting stuff. It was interesting to bring up the topic to my boss who worked at the camp as a counselor at that time and see him get all red faced and not know what I was talking about. TL. Back in 1979 a 15F was sent to Christian camp by her Christian parents to try set her on a better path. At the camp she met the camp counselor 20M and hit it off. Nine months later my brother was born. We had a nine year old camper who snuck out of her tent in the night and headed into another tent where she straddled another camper, who was sleeping. She apparently stared at the sleeping camper until her heavy breathing woke the sleeping one up. The startled camper screamed and woke her tent mates. All of whom witnessed that the creepy camper leaned down to her victim. Nose to nose. And said that she was going to murder the victim and write the victim's obituary with her own blood. I have no idea how serious creepy camper was. Because the tent mates all restrained her pretty much immediately. I can't imagine how the phone calls between the camp director and first the creepy camper's parents. Then CPS went. I was 18 and training to be a camp counselor. I would do day to day work around the camp to help everyone out and one day I went to the laundry room to drop off a load of dirty sleeping bags where there were 3 girls from my group, around 14 years old, going to town on each other. Full on lesbian 3 way. Nope the out of the laundry room. Didn't witness but. I had 2 lids. Just finished grade 9, sneak off into the forest late at night. And the girl gave the boy a BJ. The girl confessed to another girl. Who told me? When she was approached she denied it. But the boy fully admitted to it. Edit 1. Lit stands for leader in training. It's when a camper isn't old enough to be a counselor but wants to learn how to become one. Edit 2. The camp was in Canada. No. I won't say which one because I'm still really close with many staff there and think of the director as a great friend. Edit 3. Stop guessing camps at risk of damaging their reputations. If you want to guess your camp you're welcome to inbox me. Edit 4. Holy horny teens. Batman. Apparently there's a lot of camps this has happened at. Of course he did. I was a counselor at a boys camp. One day. A counselor walked into his cabin to see most of the campers, all about 13 years old, jacking it with lacrosse gloves and cuming on other campers pillows. Yep. I was a day camp counselor during the summers in high school. I watched another counselor eat herself out after smoking by the gully. My 16 year old self couldn't look away. Also. Generally. 
the councillors are eyeing like rabbits. The legend of Ripsack finally has a proper place to be told. USA Northwest. We had this beautiful elevated wooden walkway that ran through the whole camp. These boards get slippery when wet and being the Northwest it's wet pretty frequently. The kids, 14-16, are told not to run on the walkway but kids never listen. So there's one of the younger kids running along and his left leg slides off the walkway. His crotch is pretty much at a 90 degree angle. And he sees blood running down his leg. He screamed the whole way while crawling to the nurse's office. I didn't witness the actual event but any member with any medical training way called in so I saw the aftermath. Mr. Ripsack is going to have a fun scar to explain to future partners. The most humiliating part for him other than having his ballsack ripped open was having squat over a bucket filled with disinfectant to clean the wound. Poor poor Ripsack. Not really an answer. But still relevant. Q. How many camp counselors does it take to screw in a light bulb? A. They don't screw in light bulbs. They screw in sleeping bags. I worked an international summer camp. And we had one stroke three of the staff fired overnight for being caught drinking on the job. The thing is. When someone was fired. For some reason the administration tried to pretend like that person never existed. We had specialty activities. Such as bagpipes. That were just totally gone because of it. Not NSFW but definitely awesome. I was on another counselor's porch that was filled with second graders who wouldn't shut up after lights out. The counselor ran in and told the second graders a hairy clitoris monster was living in the woods and would eat them if they didn't shut up. They started crying lol. Worked at a cub scout camp. Hooked up with another staff member and dated for a few weeks until the girl left me for another female staff member. That went went on for the rest of camp. They broke up afterwards. And now that second girl, the one I didn't date at camp, is my wife. I saw one of the campers using hedge trimmers without the proper gloves. I gave him the gloves. And then his gardening service activity became SFW. Oh man. When wasn't there some NSFW nonsense going on? It's been years but I used to do before and after school childcare as well as summer camp. I was playing a Simon Says type game and we had a way of ensuring the kids spaced out enough. Didn't prevent one 5 year old from kicking another 5 year old square in the mouth. Lost two of his front baby teeth. Blood everywhere. Screaming. We had a guest speaker walk in while I carried this child covered in blood to the back room. And guilty. Like others are mentioning. Counselors be doing the naughty constantly. We had a camp store. At the beginning of the session your parents would put in like $40 so you could buy little things or ice cream if you wanted. However. Everyone always ran out. Girls started prostituting themselves for store goods. A nipple peek for an ice cream. A butt grab for two king size candibas. A kiss for sodas. It escalated. It was awesome. Wasn't a camp counselor but a kid in 6th grade summer camp trip. There was this kid named Billy I made friends with who hated this kid named Mike. One day Billy looked over at me really head off and said. I told him I'm going to him in the ass with an arrow. Anyway we had archery lessons and Billy suddenly turns and shoots Mike in the ass with an arrow. It just quivers there in his barked cheek with Mike bent over screaming. Turned out Billy had archery lessons at home and was a pretty good shot. Just as panic begins to erupt around us I hear Billy mumble to me. He moved. Billy disappeared later that day and I never saw him since. Just today some girl scratched her butt. Smelled the finger. Made her friend next to her smell it. Then proceed to pick her nose with the same finger. First year working camp around 2004. Had a junior leader making his penis into a helicopter around the youngest campers outside of the showers yelling shake 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 your dick. Two years later I was co-lead of the leaders in training. We had some new counselors bunking in the same building. Found one winner watching PRN. He later admitted it was child PRN, on his zoom. Had around 10 counselors bring alcohol on campgrounds while kids were sleeping. One ended up puking all night in a bucket in the middle of his cabin. 
others were laid out all over camp. Almost forgot this one. A 17 year old girl in the junior leaders program stuck a fork into a socket to show others that it was safe. She was wrong. There were plenty of NSFW camp moments all around but figured I'd share some of the top moments.